Starting January 1st, 2024, we'll be reading from Genesis to Revelation. To join us on the journey, claim your free reading plan down below. Now, here's your daily dose of Bible. Daniel 11, 11. Then the king of the south, moved with rage, shall come out and fight against the king of the north, and he shall raise a great multitude, but it shall be given into his hand. And when the multitude is taken away, his heart shall be exalted, and he shall cast down tens of thousands, but he shall not prevail. For the king of the north shall again raise a multitude greater than the first, and after some years he shall come on with a great army and abundant supplies. In those times many shall rise up against the king of the south, and the violent among your own people shall lift themselves up in order to fulfill the vision, but they shall fail. Then the king of the north shall come and throw up siege works and take a well-fortified city, and the forces of the south shall not stand, or even his best troops, for there shall be no strength to stand. But he who comes against him shall do as he wills, and none shall stand before him. And he shall stand in the glorious land, with destruction in his hand. He shall set his face to come with the strength of his whole kingdom, and he shall bring terms of an agreement and perform them. He shall give them the daughter of women to destroy the kingdom, but it shall not stand or be to his advantage. Afterward, he shall turn his face to the coastlands and shall capture many of them, but a commander shall put an end to his insolence. Indeed, he shall turn his insolence back upon him. Then he shall turn his face back to the fortresses of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall, and shall not be found. Then shall arise in his place one who shall send an exactor of tribute for the glory of the kingdom. But within a few days he shall be broken, neither in anger nor in battle. In his place shall arise a contemptible person, to whom royal majesty has not been given. He shall come in without warning and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Armies shall be utterly swept away before him and broken, even the prince of the covenant. After coming to an agreement with him, he will act deceitfully, and with only a few people he will rise to power. When the richest provinces feel secure, he will invade them and will achieve what neither his fathers nor his forefathers did. He will distribute plunder, loot, and wealth among his followers. He will plot the overthrow of fortresses, but only for a time. With a large army, he will stir up his strength and courage against the king of the south. The king of the south will wage war with a large and very powerful army, but he will not be able to stand because of the plots devised against him. Those who eat from the king's provisions will try to destroy him. His army will be swept away, and many will fall in battle. The two kings, with their hearts bent on evil, will sit at the same table and lie to each other, but to no avail, because an end will still come at the appointed time. The king of the north will return to his own country with great wealth but his heart will be set against the Holy Covenant. He will take action against it and then return to his own country. At the appointed time, he will invade the South again, but this time the outcome will be different from what it was before. Ships of the western coastlands will oppose him and he will lose heart. Then he will turn back and vent his fury against the Holy Covenant. He will return and show favor to those who forsake the Holy Covenant. His armed forces will rise up to desecrate the temple fortress and will abolish the daily sacrifice. Then they will set up the abomination that causes desolation, 
With flattery, he will corrupt those who have violated the covenant. But the people who know their God will firmly resist him. Those who are wise will instruct many, though for a time they will fall by the sword, or be burned, or captured, or plundered. When they fall, they will receive a little help, and many who are not sincere will join them. Some of the wise will stumble, so that they may be refined, purified, and made spotless until the time of the end, for it will still come at the appointed time. Then the king will do as he pleases, and he will exalt himself and boast against every god and will speak dreadful things against the God of gods, and he will be successful until the indignation is finished, because that which is determined will be done. And he will show no regard for the gods of his fathers, or for the desire of women, nor will he show regard for any other god, for he will boast against them all. But instead, he will honor a god of fortresses, a god whom his fathers did not know. He will honor him with gold, silver, precious stones, and treasures. And he will take action against the strongest of fortresses with the help of a foreign god. He will give great honor to those who acknowledge him and will make them rulers over the many and will parcel out land for a price. And at the end time, the king of the south will wage war with him and the king of the north will storm against him with chariots, horsemen, and with many ships, and he will enter countries, overflow them, and pass through. He will also enter the beautiful land, and many countries will fall, but these will be rescued out of his hand, Edom, Moab, and the foremost of the sons of Ammon. Then he will reach out with his hand against other countries, and the land of Egypt will not escape, but he will gain control over the hidden treasures of gold and silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt, and Libyans and Ethiopians will follow at his heels. But rumors from the east and from the north will terrify him, and he will go out with great wrath to eliminate and annihilate many. And he will pitch the tents of his royal pavilion between the seas and the beautiful holy mountain. Yet he will come to his end, and no one will help him. Chapter 12 At that time, Michael the archangel, who stands guard over your nation, will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish, greater than any since the nations first came into existence. But at that time, every one of your people whose name is written in the book will be rescued. Many of those whose bodies lie dead and buried will rise up, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting disgrace. Those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever. But you, Daniel, keep this prophecy a secret. Seal up the book until the time of the end when many will rush here and there, and knowledge will increase. Then I, Daniel, looked and saw two others standing on opposite banks of the river. One of them asked the man dressed in linen, who is now standing above the river, how long will it be until these shocking events are over? The man dressed in linen, who was standing above the river, raised both his hands towards heaven and took a solemn oath by the one who lives forever, saying, It will go on for a time, times, and half a time, when the shattering of the holy people has finally come to an end. All these things will have happened. I heard what he said, but I did not understand what he meant. So I asked, How will all of this finally end, my lord? But he said, Go now, Daniel. For what I have said is kept secret and sealed until the time of the end. Many will be purified, cleansed, and refined by these trials. But the wicked will continue in their wickedness 
and none of them will understand. Only those who are wise will know what it means. From the time the daily sacrifice is stopped and the sacrilegious object that causes desecration is set up to be worshipped, there will be 1,290 days. And blessed are those who wait and remain until the end of 1,335 days. As for you, go your way until the end. You will rest, and then at the end of the days you will rise again to receive the inheritance set aside for you. Check the pinned comment below for a link to all the resources you need for your daily Bible reading. Also, don't forget to check us out on Spotify, linked below. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose of Bible.